right so mentorship live session yet another wednesday evening 24th of april and we had a sharp bounce back from the benchmark nifty index as always the first few minutes i'm gonna walk you through with my take on the indices of nifty and bank nifty and then we'll open the floor for your doubts and uh, question as i was saying i always prefer to postmortem those trades which backfired because would always like to check if we can learn something from these wrong trades there's always something to learn all right so what do we have after three days of consecutive fall we have the nifty bouncing back and bouncing back really sharp according to our trend indicators we are in an uptrend with falling momentum we did not have any kind of PhD kind of a setup over here, which would uh, suggest to us that we have we are looking at a bounce back. So this was uh, a move which was kind of under the belt. We didn't see it coming uh, so sharp. Nothing happening on the daily chart. Uh, we have the lean now, of course, after such a move, of course, you'll have a lean. But what I can see is the index probably um, going range bound. Um, the psychological resistance on the upside for the nifty futures comes close to that 11,860 so let's say 11,900 12,000 kind of level and we have these erstwhile highs which is now acting as some support so the index i sense would probably stay within this range the trend is up and we shouldn't question the trend the momentum is still slipping so it will be interesting to watch if i drill down to trade frame minus one I do see uh, two significantly long 75 minute bars which have taken the short term indicators overbought. We are in a downtrend in the 75 minute charts. And if I drill down to TFTA, uh, TF minus two, that is trade frame minus two, an exceptionally sharp move in the 15 minute uh, bar chart. Uh, of course, the indicators are deep overbought. So, won't be surprised if there's a short term um, consolidation at the opening tomorrow may or may not because i'm sure a lot of shots would have uh, got a surprise those who have entered late uh, but nevertheless uh, last wednesday we were talking that the bias should be kept on the upside and i think we should maintain it as long as we uh, see any kind of evidence now if you remember last wednesday we spoke about the breakout and how uh, breakout minus one low should be uh, looked at very closely we have a break of that so uh, keeping both the things one we have a breakout failure in hand this one two the underlying trend is strong and we have a sharp bounce back so I think the forces of the buying and selling are equally strong over here a little edge for the buyers so let's keep ourselves neutral to bias on the upside looking at the at the nifty chart a quick look at the weekly charts and we know that we did spot this uh, beautiful hook which got triggered so on the weekly charts we have a uh, triggered hook short uh, which was in the money and now it has just slipped above out of the money but as long as these uh, lows as uh, sorry these highs hold i think we are good so that is intact let's now go back to uh, let's now go to the bank nifty and check what's happening there um, a sharp bounce back over here as well um, an interesting thing that I would like to bring your attention to is this that um, This was yesterday's low this this was yesterday's low and the market did try to attempt it and this was the breakdown So this is where some degree of sharp sell-off happened because the low was breached and This is the bar. This is the bar before the breakdown bar. This is the bar before the breakdown bar so the opposite Logic if we apply here this high is very important and after this high was broken the shots late entries of the shots They all got You know the stop loss is getting triggered um, It was a pretty sharp move uh, On the daily charts the trend is up the momentum is slipping There's no doubt on the daily charts of the bank nifty also We did not get any kind of immediate PhDs which can suggest us that we can have a move going ahead um, Sorry, so scenario remains the same, but in this case, we don't have a range bound behavior of bank nifty, which we could clearly see on the nifty. 
on the weekly charts of bank nifty we do not have any kind of hook which is there on the nifty uh, so the bank nifty looks much more stronger relatively much more stronger than the nifty and i sense that the bounce back can extend further in the bank nifty if i compare that with the nifty maybe uh, non banking non financial stocks within the nifty might be showing that kind of weakness which the bank nifty is is not representing but overall i think that um the market is the nifty is is probably going to stay range bound and i sense that the bank nifty can do better uh but having said that for the index at the current juncture there is no trade even if i look at the daily chart or the 75 minute chart or the 15 minute chart we don't have a trade right now but on the 15 minute bar which i generally prefer to trade i would like to see a short term correction because my trend has gone up the momentum is nice and um uh, strong on the upside so if i see a short term correction it can give me a, an opportunity to get into a swing trade so i'll be keeping a very close watch on the bank nifty 15 minute chart for a quick swing long trade if it gives me that opportunity to trade uh pinko is asking me to requesting me to speak in hindi the important points so fine mai koshish karunga ki uh, apne jo classes hote hain mentorship ke उसमें हिंदी और इंग्लिश मिला के बात करूं स्पेशली द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंटर्स सो हिंदी में आई एल जस्ट कंक्लूड के निफ्टी एक निफ्टी एक शार्प बाउंस बैक के बाद मुझे लगता है कि इस रेंज में रहेगा आगे जाके जो कि 11,900 12,000 का रेजिस्टेंस है और नीचे में करंट लोज जो कि 11,500 का सो so 500 और बारह एक चार सौ पॉइंट का रेंज पकड़ के निफ्टी रहेगा uh, इसका कारण ये है कि नीचे के तरफ uh, अपने को सोमवार को एक ब्रेकआउट फेलियर दिखा था ये जो लास्ट ट्यूसडे का मूव था ये फेल हो, हो चुका है और ये जो बाउंस बैक हुआ है ये काफी स्ट्रॉन्ग था आज शार्प था सो दोनों फोर्सेस बाइंग और सेलिंग का काफी स्ट्रॉन्ग है सो आई थिंक निफ्टी आगे जाके रेंज बाउंड रहेगा शॉर्ट टर्म चार्ज में काफी एक्सटेंडेड है ऊपर की तरफ एक शॉर्ट टर्म करेक्शन मिलता है तो एक इंट्राडे चार्ज में एक, एक आ, स्विंग लॉन्ग ट्रेड का पॉसिबिलिटी uh, उभर के आ सकता है आगे जाके बैंक निफ्टी रिलेटिवली स्ट्रॉगर है निफ्टी से क्योंकि बैंक uh, निफ्टी के वीकली चार्ज में कोई हुक सेटअप नहीं है जो कि आप देखेंगे निफ्टी में है uh, ये सेटअप uh, अपने को इंडिकेट करता है कि प्रॉबली ये मार्केट थक चुका है ये रुक जाएगा या फिर हो सके थोड़ा सा नीचे आएगा ऐसा कोई उम्मीद बैंक निफ्टी में ऐसा कोई सेटअप बैंक निफ्टी में नहीं है सो बैंक निफ्टी इज is relatively a stronger chart or bank nifty ke intraday charts mein bhi especially the 15 minute charts mein bhi main aage ja ke thursday friday ko ummeed karunga ki ek short term correction ke baad uh, ek swing trade long swing trade uh, karne ka setup uh, market apne ko offer kare but overall uh, market ka jo bias rahega wo upar ki taraf hi 60 40 you can say uh, jab tak current lows nahi tootta hai tab tak i think we should keep our bias on the positive side all right now let's open the floor for our questions i'll ask uh, before um, i take up your questions you can populate in the chat box uh, i'll take up two trades which karan had uh, specifically requested me to do that uh, we were trading good i think throughout the week but i think bajaj finsurf was a nasty blow for him so usse start karte hain uh, with the trade of bajaj finsurf and then i will take up each and every question doubt of yours 